Hey y'all, this is a don't play yourself today. Um, I had to uh, get this out because, so that's why I look like I just woke up. Um, I wanted to put this out there because there could be a lot of people falling into this and I just saw an article title that brought up a whole concept and so um people in this country uh basically have been um made to believe in the government and i'm not saying that the government will i'm not going to talk about that but people in this country have been made to believe in the government starting from if you look at starting from all the way back to elementary school elementary school middle school high school there's like um it's like indoctrinations like it's like um people are out here like the government plans basically the government plans um how we're going to be in the world mostly related to revolving around um, building the economy, running the economy, making people money, because that's what this country is built off of, an economy. An economy. I'm not going to talk about how it stemmed. You can look that shit up for yourself. I'm a black person, so you should look at that as a whole and understand that and where the economy started and how it started off of and how um, sometimes if you have a job now, you know, it can seem similar to what uh, the way in which the country started a long time ago. So um, the country, the government, people high up in the government, However, I don't know. But if you really look at it, people were made to believe in the government, to, um, you know, just think about every single thing that they say, like look at a news article and believe it, like to be um, persuaded. Like the government or the people within the government, people that run the news, people that run media, they want you to believe in exactly what they say, like word for word. Like if they release an article and say, um, we want you to now use trash bags as a way to um, combat, uh, I don't fucking know, something with the, the outside in here. And so you gotta place trash bags on your window or something there's some people that would actually do that shit and would have no problems doing it because they read an article because somebody somewhere high up told them to do that knew that people would see the article read it or hear it on the news because Usually it's not just in written form. They don't always have it on the news too, some way, somehow. And people um, basically just believe it. And people know that, that they will. So my don't play yourself today is don't fucking believe what you want to believe. I'm not telling you to not believe. But I'm just saying... Some things don't need to be believed because if you know, then you know. And if you know, then you don't have to believe in whatever somebody else wants you to believe. Yeah. Like certain things is just like they want you to believe in it because they want you to tie back into the system. I'm not trying to like <laughs> like put it out there like don't go with the system. 
I'm not putting my full beliefs out there because, yeah, I believe whatever. I'm a person that I don't. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'm an independent person. Okay, so I don't. I've done some things, and so I just know just how I am. And so I don't believe certain things. No. I, I can read an article title and be like, they really out here telling people that. And I know that people are going to read that and then get um, subjected to whatever the article is saying because their brains are like made to believe it. Their brains are made to believe it. So I'm saying don't play yourself continuously by being a part of it's it's a social experiment just keeps coming up and so I don't know how to not say it because I mean the government is smart you know they have a lot of people who are smart um they might not be using their brain for good reasons and are out here, you know, trying to control people with um, the words that they use, the phrases that they use, the type of pictures that they portray, you know, things like that. But that's literally like what's going on. So don't play yourself by continuing to be within a way of thinking that doesn't always work that doesn't work it doesn't work because in order for this country to really turn and to be better and for men to like appreciate women for this country to value human life in a whole large way on so many levels um, because that is also where it is. A lot of people, people are not respected, like respected for their human life. They're respected, not even respected. They're wanted to make money and to generate money, to generate something because of their body and their usefulness. And that is what is going on has been going on for so long you know we need to step out of that move forward because it doesn't work you know because it's like i mean we've seen within 2020 like the if we don't have people then it's like you know the country doesn't make money so it's like the country only makes money if people are in places that are usually like places that um like job positions that nobody wants to do like all these fast food workers like yes you know people love fast food especially in this country you know there's fast food places around the world because of how the america um eats there's so many things not just food there's so many concepts there are so many just so much that has spread around the world because of the way America thinks. And so if America, people in America, just start switching their minds to one, value themselves, <laughs> to value themselves in a way, like if people valued themselves in a way where like if they see an article, if they see news, if they hear news, they are gonna be like, well, what the fuck? Like, why am I being told something like this in a way when last week y'all just told me something else? Or, and it's like, it seems like it's just not credible. And it's like they're trying to feed, continuously feed people into a system that is just not working. It's just not working. And so, because of the people that are higher up and you know, doing their things within their positions, but it's not working. They're doing things that are not working. So I just wanted to, you know, put it out there. Have your own mind, no matter what. If you don't have your own mind, find it. Like, find your own mind. 
so that way you can if you you can decipher things that you need to decipher yes because if you don't then you might be told some things not just by the government but i'm just talking in general now just with regular people that you are around who were also a part of the systems who thinking um who don't necessarily know how to think freely for themselves try to think as freely as possible because some of the information that you're being fed is not necessarily information that you should be listening to and that's all like that's just it that's just really it like poor people look poor people who root highly for people like Jeff Bezos um fucking the Tesla man I can't think of his name right it don't matter it don't even matter <laughs> whatever his name is it doesn't matter because these men are fucking billionaires who have all this money and it's like poor people people who will never probably will never literally will never have this amount of money praise these type of people as if they were fucking god and they're literally not and that's what these people want they want you to believe in them so much that you praise them like god and so that they continue to do things out here that is reckless that they do against the very same people who be praising them amazon workers we've heard many stories if you pay attention since last year they've been coming out maybe since before that i just started noticing them early last year before the pandemic a little bit before the pandemic but in the pandemic when it started and it's like um people they believe jeff bezos more than they believe the people who work for the companies that this man owns I mean, Amazon just isn't the only one, but it's like people believe the people who paint the the bigger picture rather than the people who are out here making the money, doing the work, doing those types of things. It's just it's just so interesting to me. It's really interesting to me how people do that because it's like, what? Like, you don't see that this man is a corrupt man. You don't see that he literally doesn't give a fuck about people. He only cares about people giving him more money. And he cares nothing about human life. <laughs> he cares nothing about human life. He only cares about people. Poor people. Poorer people than him, but poor people. Because a lot of poor people like poor minded people but also poor people in money um you know they're out here praising him elon musk that's his name like both of them or people like them like people praise these people and it's like why these people will never give a fuck about you they will never they will never give a fuck about you. They will never care more about you than you are money. Like, they only see you as money. And that's the basis for this whole country. This whole country only places value on a person because of the money that they can make. Because that's the only way that this country can evolve, can revolve around an economy that is based on human life working, humans working, humans working. That's why right now they're trying to emphasize everybody just go, just the country just be open up no matter what the fuck is going on with COVID. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck because humans need to be out here working we don't care if they're possibly going to die we don't care if their families who are like these people are poor all these people who are out here making these decisions doing these things they're not poor people 
they're not poor minded people and they're not poor in money people. They understand what they're doing and they're making people who have a poor mindset, who are not in the way of thinking that they are. They're manipulating people to believe like, oh yes, y'all can, we can just be out here in the country, in the world and you know just live and there's no problems until the problems arise and then these same people come back and blame all of the people who they just told to just be out here doing all sorts of things and it's like well didn't you tell us to go do this and that we could just be out especially without masks or you know just be yeah, because we got these vaccinations and so we're just out here. We can just be out here knowing that a whole ass Delta variant is fucking spreading. But no, everybody on hush hush, <laughs> nobody's saying shit. It's the, the, the way that people have a poor mindset, but it's also the mindset that was conceived especially like just in people like people in this country it was conceived a long time ago in you when you were in elementary middle school high school shit college moving out into the world like that's how they can really once you're out of school they can see what their work like they can see what they did and they can see further how they can continue to control a whole population based on the indoctrinations that they started a long time ago. Like getting people to believe like, you know, it's a whole thing. I'm not really going to go into it because it, I feel like I could just be talking for a long time. It's a lot. It's a lot coming out because it's, um, I'm just thinking about so much. Like the country is just responsible for a lot. It's it's responsible for a lot. And, you know, it's like people, there's nobody, there's nobody in the government or like anywhere that like holds anybody accountable. And so it's just like, it's just so interesting to just watch all of this shit just go to shit. It's, it's just like going to shit. And it's just like, what? I don't know. But apparently, you know, America is the place to be, okay? It's the place to be. It's the thing to see. It is just here, apparently. I don't know. I was just born here. I didn't ask. I didn't ask to be here, but since I'm here, I'm going to talk about the shit that I see and that I understand through my eyes. And so, this is mostly it. This is it. And so... Yeah, I wanted to put that out there. Um, I don't know. Give me some insights about what you think. Because, um, well, maybe not what you think. Well, yeah, what you think. Because if you can give me insights, insights on what you think, then you might be thinking for yourself, you know. And you're not a person that just takes in information. Just take in information, basically. Because we should all be people who can think for themselves. But there's a lot of people who don't think for themselves. And that is how... I'm not going to keep going off the government, but that's just how people in higher places can um, control people. If you do not think for yourself and don't find a way to think for yourself... Like, really think for yourself. Then people will always control you. People will always control you if you do not think for yourself. So, that is what I have to say. Don't play yourself today by not thinking for yourself. Because you need to find a way to think for yourself. Okay? Especially now. Especially right now. Especially right now and going forward, you need, if you are not a person who thinks for themselves, like where you can see information, hear information and be like, nah, 
I don't believe that or not. Nah. Like, it's not even not. Nah. It's like you might think about it. Like, you, you can take it in and think about it and understand why they're doing it, know why they're pushing this out, understand a few things about it, but don't take it in as far as, yes, I'm going to believe everything that I read, that I see, that I hear, things like that. Do not continue to be a person that does not think for themselves. Okay? That's that's just what I wanted to say. All right? Thank you. Bye.